Hello, Premier One. Let's we complete our sessions in, in our version and um, let me start by comparing and ordering number. When we compare between number, why I compare? Compare to discover which is greater and which is smallest and who is equal each other. So I have three signs, greater than or smaller than or equal to. To not be confused, we have a deal together or, and we know that we open the world in front of the greatest number. In front of the greatest number. In the state of uh, know uh, what is smallest and what is greatest and what is equal, because if I open the world in front of the greatest number, so the other side will be the smallest. Okay? So let me uh, start by this. When we compare between numbers, we must know three things. First, look to the high place value. Here in primary one, we have only the highest place value is tenth place. So tenth makes the number big. I look to the tenth place. The number which has the greatest tenth is the greatest number. That means if I have the same tense, how can I compare between number? If you have the same tense, shift to ones. The number which has same tense but different ones, choose the greatest ones to have the greatest number. But If I have the same ones and the same tens, first I look at the tens, I discover that they are the same, and the ones are the same. For sure, they are the same number, so they are equal each other. But be careful and be sure that the number which has only one digit is smaller than the number which has two digits. It's not in any issue. So if I have a number has two digit number, I have two digit number and one digit number. Which one is greatest? For sure the two digit tens family is greater than one's family. Okay, by practice we will clear this version. Here, 22 and 24. First I lose the tens, the same tens. I look to ones. One has two in ones and one has four in ones, which is greater for sure, which has the greatest ones. So 24 is greater than 22. 17 and 15, this, again the same tens and different ones. I look to the ones place, which is greater 7 or 5. Seven. So the number which has the greatest ones is the greatest number. So 17 greater than 15. 9 and 8, which is greater for sure 9. 10 and 11, which is greater the same tens and different ones. One number has zero ones and the other number has one ones, which is greater for sure 11 is greater than 10. 18 and 18, same tens and same ones, so they are equal to. So 18 equal to 18. 52 and 47, which is greater. Here, different tens, so the number which has the greatest tens is the greatest number. Notice here, ones here is smaller than the other ones, I don't care. First, I look to the tens. If they are different, I take the greatest tens. Then, 31 and 38, which is greater, same tens, so I look to the ones. Here I have one ones and eight ones. For sure, I will select 38, which is the greatest number. So 38 is greater than 31, or I can read it, 31 is smaller than 38. 15 and 19, which one is greater? For sure the number which has the greatest ones, because they have the same tens. 
18 and 28. Now, first they have a different tense, so I take the greatest tense, which is 2 or 1. For sure, 2 is greater than 1, so 28 is greater than 18. By this way, I compare between number and for sure math is you will be good in math if you practice yourself. So pause this video and try to answer them by yourself and check your answer. And I already send you a homework if you do it by yourself. And remember what I taught you before and remember this video we will know how to compare between number and discover the smallest and the greatest. Now, the order, ordering number. If I want to order the number, I have two order two order numbers. Ascending order and descending order. Let me start by ascending order. In ascending order, we arrange number from the latest, the smallest, to the greatest. So I check first the smallest. I check first the smallest till I reach the greatest. One, two, three, four, five. If I arrange this number, if I have this sequence of number, so I arrange them from the smallest to the greatest. If they are different number, here I put to you a um, figure present ascending. I start from the smallest, then a little bit greatest, a little bit greatest, then till I reach the greatest number. So if I am order number in ascending, I always check the smallest. I put the smallest, then again the smallest, then add to the rest. Okay? Let me practice. But in descending order, opposite. Vice versa. In descending, I started from the greatest number till I reach the smallest number. So from the largest or greatest to the latest or the smallest. Look this figure. Here, in descending order, I start from the greatest to the smallest. So the greatest become first. And the smallest number becomes the last. Let me practice together with some example. Here I have number and the order asks me to arrange them ascendingly. Ascendingly it looks like ascending. In ascending I start from the smallest. Let me have a look to the number 7613825. Which order I want to arrange them? I want to arrange them in ascending order, so I'm checking the smallest number. Which one? Which, what is the smallest number here? The smallest number is 1, so I will start from 1, then 2, then 3, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8. Very good. So I start from the smallest and step by step then to be the last number will be the greatest number. Another question, arrange the following number descendingly. Descendingly, the same meaning of descending. Okay? What, what, num, what, um, what is a, a given number? Given number are 7, 6, 1, 3, 8, 2, 5. I want to arrange them descendingly, so I check the greatest number. What is the greatest number here? The greatest number is 8, then 7, then 6, then 5, then 3, then 2. Then the last number will be the smallest number, which is represented here by digit 1. So the order will be 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. As we know, we must check our answer. The first must be greater than the second. The second must be greater than the third. So every num each number must be greater than its next number. Okay?
if the first is greater than the second, so I am in descending order. But if the first is smaller than the second, I am in ascending order. If I started from the smallest, I am in ascending. Starting from the greatest, I am in descending. You will practice by yourself. If I have mixed between two digit number and one digit number and I want to arrange them ascendingly in ascending order I check the smallest number here I have a several number formed from two digit and one digit so I'm um, first I check one digit with what is the greatest, smallest number here because I am in ascending so the smallest number is two so I start from two then three then hmm, which number very good. 12, then 16, then 28, then 35, then 57. So the last number is the greatest number. Check our answer. Very good. Primary one. Question number D. Arrange the following number descendingly. In descending order, I Arrange number from the greatest to the smallest. Very good. Let me see the numbers. 57, 16, 12, 3, 28, 2, and 35. If I'm checking to the greatest, so I look to the two-digit number. What is the greatest number here? The greatest number is 57. For sure, I start from the greatest, 57, then... I take 35 or 28, Mr. Mean for sure 35, because 35 is greater than 28, and I am in descending order. So 57, then 35, then 28, then 16, then 12, then, hmm, I take 3 or 2. For sure, the greatest three, then the last number will be the smallest number. Here in this given number is represented by digit two. Check our answer. Very good. Uh, my opinion to pause this video and try to solve it by yourself and check your answer. Hope that you all obtain this lesson with and I know, don't hesitate to ask me if you don't understand. I'm here to help you. Thank you.